All right, guys, today it is bunker day, and I'm very, very excited to jump into this video because the bunker is something that so many of my students struggle with, and it's a very particular technique to get out of the bunker, and it's unlike any other golf shot, which is why it makes it so difficult. But I have a little secret in my pocket, and it's this one wedge, and I was legitimately shook how this changed the bunker game world because even myself, I obviously know the you know right technique and I can pull it off most of the time, not all the time, of course, but with this wedge, this is so forgiving. You don't have to be perfect. You don't have to know all these little technical details. You can get out of any bunker now with just little effort, the basics, good setup, and just a good turn. This one wedge will do so much for you. So let's jump into it. I'll show you my standard bunker technique and how this one wedge can help you in combination with my tips to get out of the bunker every single time and get some sandy up and downs that you can show off with. So there's so many great parts about this wedge and why it works as well as it does and why it makes things so much simpler than other wedges. But most of it is the sole. So the biggest piece of it, if you can see the sole, it's really big. And on most wedges, if you compare it to your other wedge next to each other, you'll see that that sole is a lot thinner and that means you have to be a lot more accurate. This sole really will bounce off the right way off of any lie so it really helps you not dig it helps you dig the right amount if you have to be digging like we're in the sand and it just adjusts no matter what lie you're in so i've really noticed this and i've really felt this so i take my word for it i promise you this does work and it has so many other good features like the weighted shaft so it's actually counterweighted and it gives you more momentum a lot of people have a lot of problems getting through the sand getting out of the bunker because there's resistance. The sand is sometimes heavy, it's wet. It's not super fun to try to get out of it. And it's not really feeling very good on our backs either. Just trust me, I've been struggling with back issues my whole life. So the sand is a little bit of a scary place for me to be in sometimes because I feel like I have to hit it so hard. But this wedge, it's gonna help you out because it's gonna almost hit it itself because of that counterweight in the shaft. So usually they do this with putters, as I said in a previous video, but this is the first counterweighted wedge that I'm using and I'm very excited for this and I'm very excited for you. So make sure you check it out. It's from Performance Golf. I have the link below in my caption. Make sure you look at it. They sell either the three bundle or they sell them individually. This is my 56 and the 56 is really a great loft to start off with because it's not too high, not too low. It will be the most adaptable around the green. So if you're choosing to start off with just one of them, I would highly recommend you you choose the 56 degree because it'll help you from any lie. All right, guys, so let's jump into this bunker and let's make sure you guys can always get out of these bunkers safely, consistently, and just in a very comfortable manner. You don't have to be hitting the ball super hard. We just talked about it. This sand can be tough. This sand here is actually quite wet. If you can see, it's a little bit dark because it just rained. So let's make this easy on ourselves with my tips and with this awesome club that I've been talking about. And let's see how we can get out of this bunker all the time and make these sandy up and downs. All right, so there's a couple of things that all the pros, when you watch them on TV, do. They always dig their feet in a little bit like this. So that gives them stability. And they usually open their bodies, open their feet, open their shoulders. Everything is kind of aiming a little left of the target. And then they also, the big difference here is the release piece. So this is what makes this bunker shot so different technically from all the other shots on the golf course, because there's no release none whatsoever so what i mean with release is that on a regular shot you'll see that about 45 degree past impact my right hand the back of my right hand is facing that front camera but in a bunker shot it will never do that in a bunker shot see how the back of my right hand is always still facing down to the sand because we want to keep our palm facing up going back and up going through and that usually helps us catch that balance of the wedge that we talked about earlier but since this one wedge has a lot of it has a lot of bounce. It has a very different type of bounce because it has this big auto adaptive sole, which is awesome. It really helps us. We don't have to open the face as aggressively and we can just basically hit something that's a little bit more close to a regular golf shot out of the bunker, which is huge. So what I'm going to do with this one wedge for you guys is going to be a bit different than what I do with my regular wedges, but it's going to be simpler. Hallelujah. It is simpler. So. I'm gonna set up a slight bit open still, just a slight bit open, not too much like I would with my actual wedge. And then I'm going to not, I'm not opening my face, I'm just putting my club down. And I have my ball, as you can see from that front camera, in the, kind of in the middle. Let's put it in the middle, because our shot is a little bit shorter and higher. It's in the middle, and I also want our hands to be in the middle. I don't want them back, I don't want them forward. I just want them to be very neutral. So neutral ball position, neutral hand position. 
weight is going to be a little bit more in our front foot, just like in the chipping. So other than the ball in the hand position being neutral, everything pretty much stays the same as we just did in our chipping video. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. I'm explaining how to use this really cool one wedge in a standard chip around the greens. So again, our weight is on our front foot and we're just gonna use that little chipping motion like we did around the greens. And that came out so easily. Do you see this? Like I didn't even have to make a bunker shot, if you, if you will. Like this is not a standard bunker shot. This is a chip out of the bunker. And you cannot do this with a regular wedge. It is very, very difficult. And I know this because my dad has been trying this for the last 30 years. Dad, I love you, but it is never gonna work with a regular wedge because it's going to dig. You're not gonna be able to catch the bounce correctly. It's gonna dig and it's gonna get stuck and you're not gonna get, able, get out of the bunker in a consistent fashion. So let's do it again. Just so you know, this isn't a fluke. This isn't coincidence. Again, we have our ball in the middle. We have our hands in the middle and we're gonna rotate our core just like we did in our chipping video and hit a little chip out of this bunker. Even that shot that wasn't perfect, guys, because I didn't have my weight enough on my left side here, it still got out and it's a really good shot. I mean, this is what you want. This is what we need. We need forgiveness and we need grace and we need relaxation and fun and none of this bunker stress that we've been dealing with lately. I mean, nobody has time for that. Nobody wants that. Let's do this again. I'm gonna move my ball into the middle, hands in the middle, weight on the front, little chip shot. I mean, guys, this comes out so easily. Do you see that spin too? This is pin high. It is so good. I'm sorry, I'm so excited for this, but it's just really, really awesome. So again, you don't have to bother with this wedge. You do not have to bother with the actual technical changes and differences in the golf swing that the pros have to bother with if they don't have a wedge like this. You can just get this one wedge. Again, it's linked below, Performance Golf. Make sure you get it while they still have it. It's just been launched. So there's only so many get this into your bag it will thank you you will thank yourself for this and your 2024 season is going to look completely different i can promise you you'll shave off shots because this is where we always lose our shots this is where the scores are being made guys so do yourself a favor check out this one wedge put it in your bag if it doesn't work for you send it back we don't want your money if you don't love this so give it a try put it in your bag and i'm so excited and to show you this on more lies around the greens and to really prove to you guys that this is worth an investment. And I'm gonna not give you mine, because I love mine. Did you just see what I did? I don't have to deal with the actual bunker technique anymore. I can just chip out of the bunker. Who doesn't want to do that? So guys, thank you so much for joining. Check this out and I'm sure you guys will love it. And we're all gonna be such good bunker players in 2024.